The specialty hospital for which the Jagdeo administration had secured an $18 million U.S. loan from the Export-Import Bank of India may not be proceeded with. Minister Joseph Harman, addressing the media yesterday, said that his administration will use the loan in another direction. The current thinking of the administration is that once those sums of money are available, that it will prefer that the monies be, sent, be spent in other areas that has to do with primary health care. The review is intended to lead to the modification of the conditions of the loan, according to Minister Harmon. A consultancy group has been identified to pursue the review. Cabinet looked at the possibility um, in its relationship with Exim Bank for the expenditure for the spending of the balance of that $18 million um, loan. Cabinet mandated the Minister of Finance to enter into and to continue where the conversations had already started with Exim Bank with a view to having the project uh, a comprehensive report on the status of the project be prepared. At the time, the company that won the contract was Surrender Engineering Construction Company Limited. Surrender Engineering ran into problems with the PPP government and saw the termination of the contract. The government then took Surrender to court, charging fraud. Close to $4 million of that sum of money had already been spent on certain preliminary issues in relation to the project. Mr. Harmon said that there are hospitals that need financial interventions. Health Minister Dr. George Norton has been visiting the hospitals around the country and their physical state has been most shocking. The Western Rural Regional Hospital was one, the hospital at Mabaruma. And you can recall that in the media recently, the Minister of Health, of Public Health, has been going around to various communities and he's been highlighting the conditions under which our primary health care services have to be delivered. Minister Harmon said that fixing the primary health care services is much more important than medical tourism. This could mean the end of any drive to construct a specialty hospital. Adam Harris, Prime News.